Who will start against Ecuador? My Yosem and T11, coming up next on MLS Now. Let's start with the obvious. I'm not Jurgen Klinsmann. I don't have the goals, I don't have the medals, and I don't have a contract to lead the US through Russia. And thus, it follows that I won't be the one filling out the lineup sheet in Hartford on Friday. And since I've long since given up on predicting what Klinsman will do, we're going to approach the Ecuador match a little bit differently here on MLS Now, with a game I'm going to call Monday Morning Manager. And I want you to play, so while I'm going through my 4-3-3, the one I'd like to see at Rensselaer Field on Friday, collect your thoughts and share your own 11 in the comments section below. Oh, and before you abuse me for leaving Landon Donovan out of my lineup, hear me out here. This game is all about LD, and rightfully so, but it's a proper tribute we need, not a 90-minute shift. For me, he'd come on in the second half, snag the armband, do his thing for uh, half an hour or less, and depart. The result? Plenty of build-up, some LD chance, two standing O's, and enough left in his legs for the Galaxy's Sunday match in Dallas. So, that out of the way, let's start in goal. A no-brainer if there ever was one. This is Brad Guzan's job for the foreseeable future. And while I'm happy to see a pair of MLSers back him up, he's the first name on my lineup sheet. Protecting his net from left to right are Greg Garza, John Brooks, Omar Gonzalez, and DeAndre Yedlin. The only tough decision for me here? Omar. Mostly because of that MLS commitment on Sunday, but also because Brooks and Gonzalez are a bit too similar, which could give Michael Orozco a chance to slot in there centrally. Once again, I'm not Jurgen, I'm going with Omar. And on the flanks, I'm going with Garza and Yedlin, who are going to give the squad some young legs itching to drive forward and support that attack. And they'll have plenty of space to do so, with my midfield three preferring to stay central in support, combining to open up those flanks. Holding? Alfredo Morales, who at 24 is preparing to enter the prime of his career, and he needs some extended time to show what he can do. In front of him, Mix Discrude, who may not have gotten a minute in Brazil, I know, tough break for you, Mix, but he should figure prominently during this cycle, and he has more bite than most give him credit for. Shouldering the majority of the creative duty, with Mix chipping in, of course, is Alejandro Bedoya, often preferred on the wing by Klinsman, but in my opinion, more dangerous and effective centrally. Here's his chance to shine and lay claim to that role down the line. And I'm giving Julian Green and Joe Zhao a second straight run out on the flanks. Speed kills. Just look at my Kansas City Royals, and with Garza and Yedlin streaming up the flanks in support, we may be seeing the next iteration of USMNT wide partners. Now, the question is, are they ready to create the kinds of chances my lone striker feasts on? That, of course, is Josie Altador, still languishing on Sunderland's bench, but more often than not, an assassin for Jurgen Klinsmann over the last year and a half. So there you have it. My crack at Monday Morning Manager. Would LD start if you were making the call? How would you honor the best player in MLS and USMNT history? Be sure to share your lineup in the comments section below, and stay tuned to MLSsoccer.com for complete coverage of Friday's match.